Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and to this video where I'm going to discuss studio lighting. In particular I want to show you how I light my easel space for painting but also how I generally light my room for filming. Normally I make videos relating to soft pastel but recently I shared a video showing you all of my tips for filming while you're working and so many of you asked me questions based on that process and asked me to continue with this series of videos and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I hope that you find this helpful. Please do help me back by subscribing to my YouTube channel here and if you'd like to learn more about soft pastel then consider checking me out on my Patreon channel too. My art studio is in my house and I live in a small stone cottage so my studio isn't the brightest room that I've ever worked in. In fact it's a little bit dark. But in this video I'm going to show you how to make the best of your studio space using some simple lighting tricks. Obviously every artist needs good lighting to see what they're doing clearly and to see their colours clearly. But you need to consider lighting even more if you intend to film yourself painting. Let's deal firstly with the most obvious light source. Daylight. So the first thing I'll mention is to make use of whatever natural light you have. Something I often see is artists setting up their easel with its back to the window, meaning that their work is backlit. Perhaps their desk is looking out at a lovely view, but they're really backlighting their painting and gaining nothing from the daylight. So a simple trick in order to have the daylight shining on your work, but also not to sit with your back to the window, is to sit side on to the window. This is a good compromise. I get light shining on my work and I can still enjoy looking out the window too. My top tip here is to set your desk up depending on whether you're right or left-handed. I'm right-handed so I always have the window to my left. That way my hand and my arm don't cast a shadow on what I'm doing. However, daylight is not always consistent. It might be bright and sunny one day, grey the next. And I sometimes like to work at night time as I'm sure many other artists do. So I like to have lighting in my studio that's completely controllable, allowing me to work or film at any time of the day or night. And there are three main sources of light that I use in my studio. Number one, a daylight lamp. A must have for any studio in my opinion. This is my main and most important light source closest to my easel. I treat it a little bit like how I treat the daylight coming from my window in that it's always positioned to my left while I'm working. Again, so that my own hand and arm don't cast shadows on the work and it's always shining directly on what I'm doing. I prefer the longer bar shaped lamps which seem to distribute the light more evenly across your painting than the single bulb would. But if you're on a budget, then even buying a regular desk lamp and putting a daylight bulb in it will work really well. This is how I first started out with a cheap IKEA lamp and I put a daylight bulb in it and it worked really well. For the past few years, I've used a really nice lamp made by the Daylight Company. Now, unfortunately, I'm not using this one at the moment because I've broken um, the cable at the bottom but I will repair this because I love this lamp. And the fact that it's broken is not really a bad reflection on the company. Um, this lamp has served me well for many years, but life in a motorhome eventually took its toll. No doubt it will take me a while to get around to fixing this. So in the meantime, I bought myself another cheaper lamp to tide me over until I fixed this one. My thinking was that I could make use of this lamp somewhere else in my studio when I get this one fixed. But actually, this one has pleasantly surprised me. 
it's not quite as long as this other one, as you can see. But it does have some nice settings on it where I can adjust the temperature and the brightness. It gives me a lot of control over the type of light that I'm getting. And this is great as I can have it more neutral for painting. And then sometimes I'll make the temperature warmer and a bit cozier for making videos like this. So I don't just need light for painting in my studio. I need light to help with filming as well. But whether that's relevant to you or not, I highly recommend an over-the-easel daylight lamp. Ideally one that clamps to your desk and with a bar-shaped light that will shine evenly across your painting. And if you're only painting and not worrying about filming, then this might be the only light that you need to purchase. Number two. When I first started to film my work, I realized that one light source was not enough. I bought a set of studio lights, commonly used by photographers. Again, these were pretty cheap, basic studio lights, but you get a huge amount of light from them, both directional, using the umbrellas, and just general good light in the room. Now, because I have my daylight easel lamp shining light from my left as I work. Normally I set this light up slightly behind and to the right. I tend to only use one of them even though two came in the set but one of these gives me more than enough light combined with my daylight lamp. Let's have a look at some footage to show the difference with and without this light on. The daylight lamp still shows what I'm doing but overall it looks a little bit dark and my hand tends to cast a shadow over the painting to the right. So between these two lights it's perfect for both filming and painting. This is a pretty cheap setup. I mean that's only about £80 worth of lamps right there and actually I have two of these. Um, I don't have the space to have both of them out and I really don't need to have that amount of light. This one does the job quite well. So I treat the extra one just as a spare. Number three. The third lamp in my studio is not really for painting. It's more for making videos like this. I did mention that my little studio is pretty dark, but even if it wasn't, I would want to create a bit more ambience in my videos. And that's why I add this little lamp with a more yellow coloured bulb. Just lighting up this back corner a little bit, casting some light along my pastel shelves and just creating a bit more of a glow in this otherwise very dark and dull corner. This is mainly to make my videos look a little bit nicer. But to be honest, the first lamp that I turn on when I come into the studio is usually this one, as it just creates a nicer, cosier environment. And I'm all about making my workspace cosy and inviting. Now this lamp is probably one that I would like to upgrade. It just happened to be a desk lamp that I already had. And I like the fact that it could clamp onto something, saving me precious floor space in this small room. I would probably upgrade this lamp to something similar but a little bit brighter. I'd like to be able to control the temperature of this lamp the way I can with my daylight lamp. But for now, everything I have here works great for my filming needs. I hope this has been helpful to you whether you're filming while you paint or not. Any studio space can be made much better by the lighting that you choose and you don't have to spend a fortune to achieve it. If this is a topic that you are interested in and you would like me to continue with then please do leave me a comment below. What else are you struggling with in your studio or trying to film while you paint? Let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to make more videos on this topic. And if you're interested in learning all of my soft pastel techniques, then do consider checking me out on my Patreon channel. 
you can browse all the pastel tutorials available on my website library and I'll add links to all of that plus all of the items that I've discussed in this video in the description below. But thanks very much for watching this here and until next time, happy pastling!